umbrella there, you could tell that he was the highest authority in that space. And then his people were in chains. The first one was, was a chain on the neck, and the other ones were on the floor like animals. I don't think that image will be like a very long time. And it speaks so much to me. It speaks so much to me. I do not ever think I will ever see a picture of that reversed with a black, with a, with a white man sitting down and a black man. You know, just try and reverse that picture and just imagine if it would, it would ever be possible. Do you know what I mean? I think it still sums up what we've been saying all day and what we have seen all day. Um, there's no point preaching it anymore. I, I heard like three or four groups today saying their perspective of this whole thing about slavery has changed. I'm very glad we've made this journey um, because for the first time, I think even I'm saying things that I thought I knew um, afresh, you know, in a different way. Like we've said all day, it's, it's, it's us. It's us. It's all us. And we can choose to leave here and just go, wow, what a fun trip. Or, oh, wow, what an exhausting trip. Or we can leave here and say, wow, truly, there's a lot of work to be done and I can start to do it. I can start to do it. Um, the truth of the matter is, even the few slaves that probably would have fought and done something, I'm sure at some point they felt discouraged also. It looked like a hopeless situation. You know what I mean? When the authority in your own country or in your own place gives you up, you know, you feel like there's no, you left your family behind. They're taking you, they're putting all this. You just leave those chains, you know, if it would have felt hopeless, but they resisted at some point. Whether it, it was enough or not, it's irrelevant. So, who are still facing physical slavery in today's age? The biggest problem we have at this time, in this age, in this generation, is actually mental slavery. Days unending. This was fused on two people's leg. As in one person's leg here, another person's leg. Ah. Lock it to padlock and two of them continue walking, going at the same time at once. It is mental slavery. It is the fact that there is almost a calculated plan to shut us up. And everything else is given to us to speak out. One of the biggest things or tools we have this generation is social media. And we can use it. We have seen how we have used it several times to our advantage. We can't afford to stop. We must scream louder. We must fight harder. And when it is time to come out, please let us not be lazy and let us not compromise. I know that it's very difficult in this day and time to speak of integrity, but I believe that there are still many people with integrity. I believe that there are still many Nigerians with integrity. My friend who just came in today was telling me about, um, um, Dr. Simi was telling me about um, a speaker or a book or something of, of Britain um, where they were saying, you know, don't do business with Nigerians, don't do this with Nigerians, don't do that with Nigerians. This is what is being said outside but then it's even bigger than nigeria um when you go to develop countries with your money in front of you they'll respect you they'll respect you and you know give you all that accord trust me they don't care about you they care about the money you brought deep down they don't care about you they care about the money you brought and you really have to think about it why not not all of them but i'm, I'm saying the most of them why not they see you as humans because you think they don't see you as humans but they do but the world thinks in economic terms. That's what we need to understand. I love us to understand in Africa. The world thinks and values in economic terms. There was a time when Chinese people meant nothing. Do you remember? And there was a time when Chinese people meant nothing. They, were, they, were, they, were, they had no value. Today, let me see anybody that will say that a Chinese president is coming around and then everyone won't stop. Here we have the real shackles used on slaves. During the days of slave trade, this tale was brought here by white men to here around 15 centuries ago, roughly five to six hundred years now. This very chain that you are seeing here. And during the olden days, all this environment used as a slave corridor. Slave was brought from outside Badagri, from interland, like Oyo, Oshobo, Abel Kuta, Ibadan, Olo, you know, 
different places like that. Here we have money spent in those days, which is where your power is in English. How is only recognized within ourselves in Africa as money? The white people, they couldn't recognize this. In order for them to buy slave, they practice trade by butter. So they have to bring just like gun, gunpowder, iron, cotton, mirror, umbrella, you know, in the sense of human, it's not like them. Bottle of whiskey, like this, in the exchange of ten people then. Well, let me see anyone thing that I can maltreat a Chinese person. They turn their story around. So there is no group of people that have not gone through some kind of persecution. Not even the Israelites. Jews are, have gone through their persecution. But every, every race has gone through it and come out of it and have become better. The black man is still groveling, well, you know, around. We're still trying to find our way. Why? What was that word that you said? You said liberation. And I was telling Ngozi, I said, I think that's one word that resonated with me today. We need to liberate ourselves. We need to liberate ourselves. And I'm glad that at least those of us here today feel some sort of liberation in our minds today. We are the disciples. Please go out, preach the word, bring somebody else over, um, spread the gospel. And what is the gospel? Liberate your mind. Because it starts with you. And it starts in your mind. Thank you. And this use of mouth to prevent those slaves not to eat or to communicate to the one and now they were working on the field plantation. So this is very, very horrible. So why this was used for three purposes. The first purpose is to put this object into a fire when it is very, very hot. They use it to make a hole with your So to be both up and down to this. After that, I have to fix this. The dog leaves out and lock it probably like this and like that. It's to guide them not to eat and talk to the one and now that we're working on chicken cane plantation. The second purpose of using this object, slave. This slave you're talking about. Slave does not have name. They are bearing the master's name. They use this very same object to write the name of the masters at their body and their nationality so that when they go back to their own destination, they can be able to identify their own. Rules. Why is that purpose of using this? Any slave trying to run away, they use this part to punch his foot, as in his foot to be on top of the falling tree in the farm like this, and then nail it down. So there was a movie called The Root. If you watch it, you will know what I'm talking about. So this is called Cannon Gun. The gun stands as time during the days of slave trade, and then on the shore of this cannon, gunpowder goes through this hole. The light here was on fire, the cannon will explode. The first shot of this cannon hearing in the morning signify and we're taking the slave down to the farm to work, which is the cause of this very lagoon. The second one in the afternoon, they have been arrived from the farm down to where they normally kept them called Brazilian slave barracoon. That barracoon is a Brazilian word, means jail cell or prison. Why the third shot of this can signify a curfew? Everybody in this battery must remain indoors. Anybody caught after the touch shooting have to face the consequences, mainly so out into slavery. Because during the holy days, all this environment used as a slave corridor. So slave used to spend like three months within this environment before the white people shift their way to the new world. In places like Cuba, Jamaica, West Indies, Brazil, America, different places.